Right, uh, it turns out that uh, police have arrested uh, the tongue-twisting champion of the world for cheating. I hope they give him a tough sentence. <laughs> right, okay, guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's do... Uh, it's Friday. I've got to be quick today because I'm trying to catch up on emails. But we're doing last book review. These are from um, Alex Farrell and... Um, Clarence Sheets, the last of the books that I've had in a pile from them too. Uh, but basically, on uh, Shida Kim, Ninja Mind Control. Now, I asked um, one of my contacts whether I'd done this before because it's vaguely familiar, but apparently I've not. So let's have a look. Right, Ninja Mind Control by Ashida Kim, Paladin Press again. Uh, I think they've gone debunked now, but I want you to tell me, guys, I want you to tell me, when you see Shaolin monks doing Shaolin monk things, and they do things that are pretty impressive, like, you know, breaking rocks and all that sort of stuff. What do you think about the, the chi movement beforehand? So the reason I'm saying this is because in this book, Ashida Kim displays the ripping of a um, phone book. Now, the ripping of a phone book, and he does the chi things before. But this is obviously, and also, breaking of bricks and things like that. But this becomes, there are strong men who can do this. But Ashida Kim's a slight man. Oh, sugar, a you sound like the glue cracked. Ashida Klim is a slight man. So um, what do you think of the chi power and everything about that? You know, do you have to be mega strong to rip these things in half? Or can smaller men do it? What, what have you seen? So basically, I remember getting this book when I was younger. I don't know where my copy is now. It's probably in a loft somewhere. But it talks about... Have you ever heard of the Nei Ching? I don't think it's the I Ching he's talking about. But it starts with the Yellow Emperor of China is talking to... Wang uh, Ti, or no, Su Wen, I'm not quite sure, but basically, um, the two people are talking about, what is the Nei Ching, I don't think it's the I Ching, is it? Um, now, he goes through, so basically, this book is about, sort of, the Chinese aspect of Qi and everything, how to gain Qi breathing exercises, Qi Gong, then he goes into the Kujikira, nine levels of power. So mainly it's Chinese, except for then he comes into Kujikiri. But of course, Kujikiri does come from China, but obviously this is done from the Japanese pronunciation side. So in a lot of the others, he's got the Chinese pronunciation, and then he does, for Kujikiri, the Japanese pronunciation. Now, what do you think? Has he got these right? I can't remember off the top of my head. But um, Rin is strength, Kyo, direction, To, harmony, Sha, healing, Kai, premonition, Jin, knowing the thoughts of others, um, Retsu, mastery of time and space, Zai, control, and Zen, enlightenment. Um, oh, and he does have the Chinese there too, in Chinese, Tao and Hua. So, okay, he does have the Chinese, but he's gone with the Japanese to start with. So, uh, the reason I think it's familiar is because I've seen this lady somewhere before. I'm trying not to break the glue. I've seen this lady somewhere before in his work. Is that one of his girlfriends? Is that a student? I'm not sure. Uh, again, what's quite good, and, and I give it, this is 1985, this book, and he's going through the Chinese elements. I'm not saying that they weren't around in 1985, but other ninja books tended to be like, just look at this combat. I'm not saying he, he didn't do that, but he definitely, Shidikin definitely had a lot more of the Chinese research going in. How much this has got to do with Ninja, I'm going to say next to nothing. You know, it's it's clearly one of those, let's capitalise on the Ninja thing of the 80s. Um, but, right, but I did just check. This is the one bit that flags for me. Dragon spreads his wings, which is a form of kick, and it's the crane-style kick. And actually, while it's not directly the crane kick... Karate Kid came out in 1984, and this book came out in 1985. It's a bit close, isn't it? Do you think, is there actually a crane kick anywhere in the world, or is there not? You know, is there a Chinese or a Japanese karate form of crane kick? So basically, now he's gone on to just basically do martial arts all the way through the rest of the book, which is very stereotypical of 1980s ninja books. I think I've got to re-glue that now. There's a slight glue problem there. It was on the last thing. But anyway, there we go. Ninja Mind Control by Ashida Kim. And that is the end of the rare ninja books I've got to report so far. I've had a couple of Japanese sword books from Chris, who I did the sparring match with, and I'll get onto them soon. But guys, 
what do you think of this book let what do you think of chi and the chi power and all of that and let me know if you've got any more jokes right guys i'm going to be back on monday because i have to keep it short today just because i've got a lot of stuff to do and clearing all my emails which is like thousands of them so uh, not literally thousands but enough that i can not actually work today i have to just do emails and this instead of actually writing the book which annoys me now i've become more of my own secretary and less of an author crazy <laughs>